Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the Brabazon Golf Course, the 16th hole. And in this video, we are talking about how you can eradicate the chicken wing from your golf swing. Just before we get into the video, in the corner of the screen, you should have the details for my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram. So if you don't already, then please go ahead and follow me on those. So today's video is in response to a question that was posted in the comments box on one of my previous videos. The comment was from Stephen Fergus and F Stephen was talking or asking if I could do a video on how he could stop his chicken wing. So just before we go through exactly what we're going to get Stephen to do, what do we mean by the chicken wing? Well, the chicken wing is basically when the elbows through impact separate too much, so we get too much flex in the arms, and then from the down the line view, we would tend to see the left elbow appear behind the back before we see the golf club appear. And we can kind of call this the chicken wing. So this is something that we see lots of golfers struggling with. Those golfers who struggle with this fault often struggle with poor distance. They often hit the ball to the right of target. The strike isn't maybe as good as they'd like it. And certainly if we can move golfers towards more of a, what might be a conventional move through the ball, we would generally see some improved results. So there's three things that I generally tend to see causing this. And we're going to go through those three things for Stephen and we're going to give him some drills that he can do at the range which might help him. So the first thing would be how the arm sort of works through impact and how it rotates. The second thing would be the amount of rotation we have in the body. And the third thing would be concept. So the first two we're going to have drills or ideas what we're going to do in the swing. The third one is maybe just starting to discuss what should happen and maybe just getting those golfers to have a better understanding of what they should be doing. So the first thing I want Stephen to do is take a starting position and just take off his trail hand. So I'm just holding this in my left hand, which is my lead hand. Now what I'm gonna get Stephen to do is just make some pretty small golf swings with some rotation and starting to make half back swings, half through swings. Now if I do this for you, and this is what we would like to see from golfers when they do this drill. What you'll notice on the through side is that my lead arm is starting to rotate and fold. So that my elbow is pointing more down towards the ground the palm of my hand is facing more over towards the camera at face on. And you can see how the club head is much higher than my shoulder and my elbow. Now, hopefully, when I'm doing this, it looks relatively normal and relatively natural. What Stephen might find, and what you might find if you struggle with this same issue, is that your natural move through the ball is a little bit more of a dragging motion, where you tend to finish more like this, where we haven't really folded and rotated the lead arm. The palm of the hand is facing a lot more down towards the ground and the club head hasn't really got much higher than my shoulder or my elbow. So quite naturally, we see golfers dragging the handle through this way, where we're not letting that club head and that arm release as we would like. For me to make this correct move, I really feel like I've got to reduce a lot of the tension I have in my arm. I've got to have a nice reduced grip pressure and I've got to almost sense the weight of the club moving around my body. The more I can sense the weight of that club, the more it's going to help my arm fall into this better condition this side. I can make this move with hardly any contact with the golf club. I can just hold that in sort of one finger and one thumb and I can make this motion. So the first drill I would like Stephen to do is this one where we just start to get a better understanding of how this lead arm is going to move through the golf ball. The second thing I tend to see causing this issue would be one where the golfer doesn't have enough rotation through the body. If I make a golf swing and I try and keep my chest pointing at the golf ball, it doesn't really matter how good I am or how skilled I am, I'm gonna find that it's very difficult to get my arms to move through the ball as I'd wish whilst I'm keeping my chest down at the golf ball. If my arms have a lot more speed than my chest, it's gonna be very difficult to find that position. So, the second thing I would like Stephen to do is make some little golf swings where he's feeling like he allows his upper body to rotate a little bit better through the golf ball. So in this fashion here, so I'm just allowing my chest to rotate and that in turn is allowing me to move my arms through the golf ball, say in this much better condition. We can hit little shots that way. So there's nothing to stop popping the ball on a tee peg and just pitching some golf balls 20 or 30 yards, but we're just allowing those ro to rotate through. We're allowing the arms to fold and we're allowing the body to follow. What we don't want to do in these little short shots 
is feel like we stay too much over the ball, elbow's gonna disconnect and we're gonna get that chicken wing. The third thing here would be the concept. And this is really just an idea that we're trying to have as opposed to a drill that we're trying to do. It links quite nicely to number two, which is the rotation. But I often see the golfers struggling with a chicken wing when they're trying to stay down over the ball. They're trying to keep their head down, they're maybe topping the ball, their strike isn't good, they believe they're lifting up too soon and they try and stay down over the ball for much longer. When we stay over the ball, what that really does is it really limits the amount that we rotate through, it stops the chest and it really encourages the arms to separate into this position here. So what we'd actually like Stephen to do is feel like as this lead arm is rotating better, as his chest is rotating more, I'd almost have Stephen feeling that he's getting almost taller through the golf ball. If we can do those things, I believe that that would hopefully improve his arm movement through the ball, his arm structure, and that in turn is gonna give him some better shots. I would get you to start off relatively slowly. So I'm just gonna hit this ball, pretty short distance, but I'm gonna let the arms fold, I'm gonna let the chest rotate, and I'm actually going to feel like I get a little bit taller through the hit. Okay, so I've only hit that ball maybe 100, 120 yards, but you can see how my chest has rotated fully. My arms have found a nice condition at the end, and I certainly feel taller now that I was at setter. Strike was good, ball flight was nice, and that certainly felt like my arms worked better through the ball. So if you feel like you're struggling with that chicken wing, that left arm sort of separating, getting too high, you feel cramped through the ball, there's often a few reasons why that's happening. If we can address all those in a drill, we're hopefully gonna find some better looks to your golf swing, some better shots, and ultimately, some better scores. So I hope that helps, Stephen. Hope that gets you on the right track to improving. Uh, improving the swing and improving the scores as well. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click the like button. Any comments you've got, please post those in the boxes down below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And if you don't already, then please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Loads of videos already on there and more being uploaded each week. Clicking that link in the description box just means that you won't miss any of the new content coming out. Thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.